what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today what we're going to be doing is coating the bmw f30 so what we've done so far um, in the coating process is we are going to be coating sport plus modes in the bmw so guys this is actually going to be part five to the coating process if you want to check out previously what i've done on the bmw and how it's done on coating like us lights and um, errors in dashboards or whichever go check out my previous videos and you'll see exactly which way it's done what i'm going to be doing in steps and showing you how it's done um in steps either and doing it in a big bunch and then you you get lost but yeah as i said guys we're going to be doing sport plus modes and because my car is actually a sport and not an m sport so it doesn't have the sport plus feature so yeah guys, I'm just going to flip the camera there, show you exactly what we're going to be doing and what this car has and what it doesn't have and then what we're going to be using. So the app that we're actually using is Beamer Code. So we're going to be calling with Beamer Code, it doesn't matter, you can use it on your phone or whichever, just download the app from Play Store or Google Store or App Store, whichever you'd like to call it, whatever phone you're using, either it's Android or Apple. So... The thing is now the one that we're actually using is I don't know if you can really see it and um, so this is actually called a V-Gate iCar Pro uh, it's a 4.0 it's the latest model so that's what you're gonna be actually plugging into your ECU module when you're actually coding with the app so guys here we are we're in the car now so the car is taking over getting ready to code so that's what we actually done in our previous video we've coded displays sport displays but just to show you so this car is normally in you have echo pro then you got comfort and sport it does not have sport plus if you try push it up the, this bmw does not come with that kind of feature so that's what we're going to be doing it and coding sport sport plus in the bmw and it's fully functional functional once it's actually coded here we are guys we are in beamer code into the app now so what you'd want to do is plug in your ec module connect it up via bluetooth or wi-fi so basically what you'd want to do is hit connect so normally this actually takes a while but during i was actually coding earlier on and um, it just takes a lot faster but you're usually waiting for the bar to load up and it takes uh, maybe about 40 seconds to a minute to actually load so as you see once you hit connect it'll show you multiple cars there so it doesn't matter which one you're doing just click on the right one whichever you think it is so from x5s to x3s to y3s 3 series 2 series so the car that we're calling is a bmw f30 so you'd want to look for bmw 3 series m3 f8 to f31 whichever model it is from 2011. so here we are guys once that is actually loaded up this is what you're going to be seeing is electronic electronic control units so you'll get crash safety modules air conditioning front electronic module for the front of the cars when it comes to the lights head units instrumental clusters chassis management rear electronic module so the thing that we're going to be going into today is integrated chassis management so you'd want to click onto that there let it read up and go through the ECU and then once it gets into it so here we go normally depending what car it is you'll see a lot more features for your car depending what model but this is what I get in my module uh, my model so basically what you'd want to do is so see the way if you go down to driving mode it says start in echo mode if you want you can activate if you want to start in echo mode or just comfort we will not mess around with that or you do not want the car to be starting in echo mode so we're just going to leave that so basically down at the bottom there you can see sport plus driving mode you'd want to click onto that there and what you'd want to do is activate so once you hit activate um this so that will be it once you hit activate you will hit okay so once you actually hit okay you, what you'd want to do is hit code so we're just gonna let the car run and do its thing guys 
Just to let you know, do not be afraid if you actually start seeing your car uh, rev up um, on its own and the gauges start going 90 and your sport display shuts off, turns back on and it starts going into it doing its own thing. So here we go. Car actually just switched off there and um, it's doing its own thing now. Do not panic at all. This is perfectly normal. The car does its own thing. So you don't want to just leave it and do that. So once it actually finishes coding, the car will turn on back automatically and go back to normal. What you'd want to do is exit all the way back, disconnect. As you've seen there, we have actually coded the Sport Plus into the BMW. So just to flip the camera and actually show you what it looks like in the iDrive when it's actually coded and to let you know it's actually fully fu functional. And what it does is, once you actually put it into Sport Plus, it, the vehicle stabilization of the back, um, it just, just opened diff in a way so you can actually drift the car in a way so you can actually go ahead and if you like drift <laughs> drift it but yeah that's what happens to the car as you can see there sport and echo pro so that's the features there so if you actually have a look into your ride drive so i think we are normally now in comfort as you've seen there before we just had sport and now from sport to sport plus so yeah that is fully functional now and is 100% working in the car. So yeah, that'll be it. It works 100%. So I'm just gonna show you there in the cluster. So if you have a look there, we are in the Sport Plus. So if we just go back to Sport, Sport Plus, dynamic traction control off. So there is no more traction. You can go if you want sideways and start drifting your car. Sport Plus is fully functional and working in the car now we got sport mode so guys as i said i was only messing around there you don't have to go off and just get that coded so you can actually drift your car it looks a lot nicer to have like this kind of feature in your car and um, when you have sport plus so normally you don't get this once you buy the car originally factory so to have something code like this it, it's a lot better and makes me happy in a way so i can actually get this coded depending what car it is i think and what kind of model you have sometimes i know you can't really code that kind of stuff um, and get sport pluses but normal models you can if you do give it a try i think it works on most cars i'm not too sure about the sport displays i know it has restrictions but for the sport plus it should definitely work for you but guys as i said if you did enjoy this video please leave a massive big like do subscribe if you're new because it does mean a lot to me and then I can actually provide you with these kind of videos and show you a lot more on the BMW, on other cars, etc. Um, but yeah guys, as I said, please do subscribe. Yeah, other than that, this was part 5 to this video. Go check out my previous videos if you want to see how to code and um, other kind of stuff. But what I'm going to be doing is going off to part 6. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Do subscribe. Peace.